Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I have shown you how to design this one that is all student leaving and how to back and code for this. So if you have not watched my previous video, then just go to the description. There I have put the link for my previous video or you can simply do one thing. Just click on the suggestion on the right side of the screen. Okay, so in this video, I am going to show you how to design for this one and how to back and code for this. So let's start with this. First, I'm going to close this project. Okay, after this, first thing what we have to do is we have to actually add one form inside this one. For that, let me just add one form. So let me minimize this one. And after this, just go to Solution Explorer. On the name of the project, just right click over there. And you have to just click on New or Add. Yeah, here we go. Add. Just click on this and select the form. After this, what we have to do is we have to actually give a name to this form. So it's taking a little bit of time. Okay. Here we go. So here we have to name this one and I'm going to name this one Leaved Students so that we can uniquely identify with the name and click on add and now new form will be added. Here you can see this now new form will be added. It's added actually. Next thing what we have to do is we have to first remove the border from this one and after this what we have to do is let me first remove the form border form border state change this one to right click on this and click none when you select this now the form border is removed after this what we have to do is we have to set the background color for this one so move back over here click on this select this one 151 comma 48 comma 103 so back color just move back over here hit enter and now what we have to do is we have to actually set the size for this one so let me go to properties and select the size 875 comma 512 move back over here go over here search for size you can manually write 875 comma 512 and hit enter after this what we have to do is we have to add one more label like this so i'm going to copy this one and paste it over here and after this what we have to do is we have to actually change the text for this one so i'm going to change this one to backend student details and when you hit enter here you can see this now the text is changed after this what we have to do is we have to add one data grid view inside this one so i'm going to add a data grid view so just drag and drop over here after this we just maximize this one to full screen like this there we go now data grid view is also added one more thing is left is nothing but the button over here so i'm going to add one button so guna2 button i'm going to use okay search for buttons okay so if you are worried about the from where i'm going to get this guna2 so in previous video already explained and for the new viewers who are watching my video for the first time let me just explain you that i have added a dll file into this toolbox and that DLL file link is already in the description and how to add the DLL file into this toolbox video link is also in the description go and check that out okay so I'm going to add this one and the person who have not subscribed to my youtube channel then please subscribe and make my efforts successful okay so I'm going to remove the text from here because I don't need any text I'm going to actually set some image inside this one so first thing what I'm going to do is change the fill color over here to this one and after this I'm going to select the image all the image link is already in the description make sure to download that too okay so click on this and search for image over here just select this click on this one local resources click on import and explore where you have just stored the downloaded image so I'm going to use this one okay here we go this one and just increase the size for this one to 30 comma 30 hit enter now this one is looking better and we have to actually change one more thing that is nothing but hover style let me just do that just click on this and search for hover style Move back over here fill color will be same this one 151 comma 48 comma like this okay so now our form is ready let me just change the name for the design name for this one change this one to btn 
like that. Okay. After this, what we have to do is we have to connect this form with the dashboard. Because for now, when I start this project, this one is not connected with that button. So when I click on that button, that is nothing but left to students or leave the student, nothing will happen. Okay. So I've started the project and it's taking a little bit of time. There we go. Sign in. And here you can see this when I click on this, nothing happens because we haven't connected yet. So now I'm going to connect that this one with that button. Okay. So move back over here, dashboard design. Go to that button. That is nothing but leave the student. And let me check the design name for this one. So the design name is not changed. So I'm going to change the design name. So PTN leave PTN leave students. And hit enter after this what we have to do is just double click on this button to create a click event just double click on this and here we go after this what we have to do is we have to make a create an object for of that form so I'm going to create an object so our form name is lead student Here we go. And ls is equal to new lead student like this. ls dot show. Here we go. Now let's start save this and start this. Sign in and now I'm going to check this one. When I click on this, yeah, this one is being visible but on the wrong position let me set this proper position for this one okay so for that we have to move over here and we have to just click on the empty space to generate a form load event when I click on this and we have to just manually set the pop-up location or like visible location when it uh, pop out we need to show that in the proper location this dot location is equal to new point and we have to put the coordinate you can set this coordinate according to your system i have already made that complete project that's why i know the exact location where i have to set this like this this is the proper location now let's start this and let's see where it pops up now sign in click on this and here you can see this yeah this one is on the proper position you can open this n number of times it's going to be represent over here okay so i'm going to close this one and now of what i have to do is i have to fill the data inside this one and make this close button functional so first i'm going to make the close button functional so just double click on this and this will generate a pdn exit click event and here we have to just write this dot close like this now save this and let's check this one is working or not sign in leave the students here you can see this when i click on this yeah this one is getting closed yeah this one is working next thing what we have to do is we have to just load that data okay so where we have to code we have to code on this load event when this load we need to fetch that data and show it that data inside that data algorithm so for that we have to just write the query and we have to create a function object function class object so in previous videos i have shown you what methods I have exactly created or written the code for in that function class okay so if you have not watched your previous video then make sure you watch that first and after that you can continue with me okay and one variable of the string type that name I'm going to name this one query okay so we have now function class object here you can see this in this I have one function class okay and here we have three methods and we need only these two we use these to get data and set data you can see this so we are going to use this get data and this is going to return a data set object which is filled with the data okay whatever query we write so now i'm going to write the query over here query is equal to so what query do we want we want to fetch all the details of the students which left our hostel so we have to write select star from 
table name. My table name is new student where living living is a column name and where living is no. It means that they left. Now our query is ready. Next thing what we have to do is we have to call that method and as I have shown you that that method is going to actually return a data set object for that to store that data set object we need a data set object data set ds is equal to fn dot get data and in this you have to pass one string variable that is query now we have the data inside the data set next thing what we have to do is we have to just show that data into that data grid view inside this one so let me check the name for this one so the name of this data grid view is data grid view one okay guna two data grid view one so i'm going to just show that guna two data grid view one dot data source is equal to these dot tables like this there we go everything is done let's start and check if this one is working or not So it's taking a little bit of time to sign in. When I click on this, it's loading. And here you can see this. Now back in the student details is visible over here. Living status is no. And the same way here living status is yes. All yes is shown over here. And who left the hostel is shown over here. So everything is working fine. So guys, that's it for this video guys. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to design for this one. That is new employee and how to back and code for this. So till then, just stay tuned and subscribe and hit the bell icon and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.